Google Glass recently went on a limited sale to the public and sold out their entire stock in 24 hours. But does this wearable merit that kind of enthusiasm? Here's what you need to know about Google Glass. Google Glass is actually pretty easy to operate. It only has two buttons, a power button and a shutter button, and you can control the whole thing with a touchpad on the side of your face. Glass is always listening for its trigger phrase, OK Glass, which lets you take a picture, record a video, share things to social networks, or look things up on the internet. If you wanted to look something up, say, the Washington Post, you would just say, OK, Glass, Google the Washington Post. You can also use Glass for turn-by-turn -turn directions in Google Maps, which is handy for when you're walking around. While Google's done some really interesting things with Glass, it is important to note that it's still a pretty buggy device. We've put ours through its paces for sure, but it's clearly a developer's model, and things can get frustrating for the average user. For example, it gets really warm, and sometimes you have to shut it down and let it cool off before it'll function properly. And it also has a battery life problem. While you may want to be showing off all of its cool features to your friends, it's only going to last you about a half hour at the most. Everyone says wearables are the next big thing, but most of the success that we've seen so far has been with smartwatches or fitness bands. Obviously, moving wearables to a more visible location, like your face, can be off-putting. <laughs> and it'll take broad adoption for people to be really used to something like Google Glass.